Today I'm going to be surviving 100 days on the Skyblock server I created for all of you watching to play on. During my journey I built some OP farms, started my mega base, made some friends, and much, much more. My goals for these 100 days are to get rich, have the best looking island possible, and get even more rich. Join me on my journey, let's get to it! Day 1 starts by opening my server, Neo Network, to the public. I say hi to all the subscribers who joined in, and then it was time to make an island. Of course, I chose the classic island, my favorite. Now starting out here is pretty regular, we're just gonna get some wood, which is by far the best part of the Minecraft experience. And uh, I may have taken everything from a friend here. Hey, Neo, you took the pickaxe and you took all the wood. <laughs> Whoops. Now look, I wasn't trying to be greedy, but you see items in a chest and, well, you want to take them. You know, I felt bad, so I decided to make Mr. Penguin Man his very own axe, and then I accidentally gave him my used one. And here I decided to make my very own cobble gen. Let's just, let's just go through this for a second, just so you guys understand what, what caliber skyblock this is. You can upgrade your island size, you can upgrade how many members you have, you can have more hoppers, you can change how many warps on your island you can have. Your island generator, which is what this lava gen is, you can increase your chances of how many things you get. You can get auto sell chests, there's just tons of stuff, guys. So after explaining how to upgrade your island, I figured out that pickaxes don't burn in lava for some reason. Wait, what? It's not burning. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of pickaxe is... Okay. All right. Yeah, well, now you can't lose your items. This will work. This will work. No, we'll catch it. <laughs> Decided to finish off day one here doing a little bit of grinding at our cobble gen. Also getting some ores along the way because we'd upgraded our cobble gen. And we start day two grinding some more. I had and still have a lot of fun at these gens just because they make ores and stone. So after almost an entire day of mining, I decide to make a diamond pickaxe to give away. Because I'm generous, right? I told everyone to go to warp food and... Oh man, there's... Dude, oh, like, come to warp food for a second and just check this out. Day three was an exciting day for sure. Oh. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be a... Oh. <laughs> Now, I tried my best to kill a few mobs, but when you tell about a hundred plus people to come to one warp, things get a little chaotic, so I decided to just watch the fun, and man was it fun. If I come down, look, this is how the stream will sound. Ah, a new day. Day four, I came back home, and well, Penguin Man had made the most OP cobble gen yet. I made a bucket here and I can't for the life of me remember why, but this cobble gin is double sided, meaning we can both mine at the same time, right next to each other, so you never get lonely. And just look at all the ores that generate here. We definitely need to get our ore generator upgraded as soon as possible, but your man only has 400 bucks, so we're not exactly uh, very wealthy yet. So we continue mining and uh, I figure, hey, why don't I check out some of the enchants and I think I get some efficiency here. No, that's right. We're too poor. <laughs> Can't afford that. So we spent the rest of day four grinding away. Day five had arrived and I decided to grind a few trees because I thought we were going to need a little bit of wood. And I for some reason had the bright idea of making a super smelter. More to come on that later. Now after the end of day four, we had grinded for quite a while. And we had a thousand sky coins to deposit in our island bank. And as you can see there, we got Island Generator level 2. So this is just going to mean we get more ores and less stone. On day 6, I decided to vote for the server and get some Vote Crate keys. <laughs> hey, we got a spawner! We got a sheep spawner! Oh, oh nice. heck yeah, dude. 64 iron... Oh, wait, 128 iron blocks. Wait, how much is that? How much is a stack of iron blocks worth? 6k? Please give me another spawner, please. Please. That's okay. As you can see here, everyone followed me to the crate keys, so I promptly left, sold my winnings for 30k, played with our new sheep spawner, and then I decided to visit an island of a player, and I got immensely jealous, and I had to leave. After crying of jealousy on day 6, I decided to do some spring cleaning. I was gonna make my island look great. I was gonna be the next cool thing in town. And well, you know, we did a little bit, and we made it look better, so that's good. 
And then I decided I probably want to get some money and some sky coins, so I started grinding on some sheep for the rest of day seven. On day eight, I decided to finish. And finish I did. I have completed an auto smelter. Now, I'm not super great with them, but I decided that I'm going to make one. Dang it, and I'm going to make one work. And work it did. Now, there was a little bit of an issue because the missions that you need by uh, to complete by smelting items don't work if you don't put the items into furnaces. And there's a good reason for that. And I only discovered that later on and, well, you'll see what happens. But yeah, it worked and I was very proud. If you want to see how proud I was, you can go watch the live streams, but I was proud. Now on day 9 I realized that it's not all a loss that I made this thing because I can still smelt all of the ores that I grind and they sell for a little bit more cash. I don't know if it necessarily profits more when you have to burn the coal and you don't get to sell it, but hey, that's what I did on day 9 and I made quite a bit of money. Day 10 is where everything came together. I figured out what I want to be, the world's greatest cactus farmer. Oh, if I only knew what this cactus would become. It was a new day, and I decided to have some fun with everyone on the server, so I made a giant screenshot with everyone who wanted to come in it. And then I decided to host a little bit of a drop party. Now, when there's this many people, drop parties are a little bit difficult, but we made it work, and a bunch of people got diamond blocks so they could sell them and hopefully get a little bit richer. Now, if only I could give myself items. Nah. On day 12, I decided to show off my extremely fast clicking skills, more on that later, and then I decided we probably need a little bit more wood. And when I was killing the sheep, I noticed that they were kind of moving around, so I wanted to build a little bit of an area to host our sheep spawners, and an area I built. Look man, it was pretty impressive at the time. I get a lot more wood because I got an upcoming project planned out here. We're going to start our journey with some wheat, so we can get a little bit more money because we're still kind of broke relatively. Now look, chopping trees isn't exactly very easy, but eh, I decided to finish off the rest of the day by swinging my sword some more. You know, you'd think after being tired you wouldn't go and, you know, farm some mobs, but eh, whatever. On day 13, I decided to build myself a little bit of a wheat farm. Now, the thing about farming in this is that it's a little slow to start, but I promise you, it's going to be worth it. Now, wheat seeds are really expensive off the bat, so we're going to have to grind to get enough money to even get seeds. Oh, also, dirt is extremely expensive, so I had to tear down my island to pay for this farm. Whoops. Now, trust me, I know the investment seems very drastic and a little risky, but it'll pay off in the end, as you see soon. There was a lot more dirt here than I remembered, and that's a good thing, because I needed dirt. And then I decided, you know, we're just gonna stick with the whole cobblestone theme. At last, I finally had enough dirt to finish my farm, and finish it, I did. I was proud of day 13. A good day. Now on day 14 I spent most of the day grinding so I could fund my very own wheat seed. Oh and I also discovered someone was watching me. So I want to give you my full attention. Really? Really? I mean, I'm gonna get up in your face too since you're just so close to me, huh? How's it feel? After harassing my stalker I decided to check in on the cactus and wow, we got quite a bet. Oh if he could only see the future. Why'd the cactus fall? I can get it, I can get it. That's worth so much money, please. No! After intense grinding for cash, I was finally gonna buy it. I was gonna buy a wheat seed. No, not one, but three. All that I could afford, 30k to 5k, just like that. One, two, and three. Wow, look at that, guys. We have three wheat seeds. I'm pretty proud right now. Pretty proud indeed. I sold some more stuff. And got another seed because it was bothering me, you know, OCD and everything. Having four is, uh, you know, a lot more symmetrical and it looks better. So I wanted to check in here, can I get any upgrades for crop growth? And I could, it was only a thousand sky coins, so I decided to get two more levels and get it up to 30%. I deposited all the sky coins I had gotten into my island bank, and I was off to more mining grinding, baby. Now I grinded so long on day 14 that I came back on day 15 to a surprise. We had some fully grown wheat. And I made sure to use my Fortune 3 pickaxe so we got the most seeds possible. And remember what I said about them spreading quickly? Oh yeah, they multiply. Now I went back to the cobblestone generator later that day and I realized it wasn't enough. No, 
We needed a second one. Why, you ask? Well, I'm really not sure, but I had to expand the island a little bit, but getting a second one is definitely going to be a big help because we can always invite our friends to come help us, and that means more money, and uh, more money means more wheat seeds, more cactus, etc., etc. So I decided to copy Penguin's design here and make my own. Now, I don't really put the lava buckets down right at first, but I quickly correct the situation, and this thing is off to the races. Now I decided to test out my new creation, and Minecraft's lava was being weird. But uh, rest assured, I quickly resolved it, you know, I don't know how I fixed it, but hey, it worked. Not gonna question it. Now the super breaker thing you see here is something you can earn on the server by mining, and the higher your mining level goes, the longer your super breaker works, and look how amazing it is having two. So I might have kind of broke it a little bit, but hey, I fixed it right up, I just got too excited and overzealous with that super breaker. I spent the rest of the day mining and grinding and having fun with my brand new double cobble gen. By day 16, I had managed to get enough sky coins to once again upgrade our island generator. Now this is gonna make us a whole lot of money, and now you can see why skyblock servers like this are so addictive. You guys really should come play and join me. Maybe you can uh, be on a video. So after finishing up mining that day, I decided to sell everything that I had gotten and thrown in the smelter, and look at that. 13k. Not bad at all. And hey, I have even more stuff I can sell. And look how much we get, dude. 13k plus 17k. That was a 30k mining day. And while we were mining, our wheat seeds have grown, and multiply they do. I saw the rest of the stuff that's been smelting up in our super smelter and a cool 5k we got. So in between day 16 and 17, I did play a little bit off stream. The only thing that I've done between last stream and this stream is literally all I've done is got some cactus and I put it in this chest and I kind of made the cactus farm a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a bit, right? Now most of the money you see between day 16 and 17 actually came from this wheat farm, which is really, really nice. So I mine it up and I show you how much wheat is worth and we sell a little bit and yeah, it's a pretty good business venture, I'd say. I'm glad I've been saving up these seeds. We get money-wise from that entire field. So each stack of wheat is worth 770 bucks. Well, you gotta, you gotta calculate the seeds, right? Like if we were selling the seeds, like how much is a stack of seeds worth? Okay, so a little bit less than the wheat. So it's really not that bad at all. On day 18, I decided to go say hi to everyone on the server that day and say hi I did. Then they started to hit me and well, I left. I came back home and I figured it was time to do something about our cactus farm. In fact, it's time to do something about our entire base. Well, it's not looking great and I want to make more money and it's kind of hard when every time I look at my base, I'm like, oh, this looks like crap. So you guys, of course, remember the uh, auto smelter I made. Well, after figuring out it didn't work and it really didn't make me that much money, I decided to destroy the whole thing and destroy it I did. Oh, that was a satisfying feeling indeed. Very, very satisfying. So as you can see, our island, pretty plain Jane. It works, but I want to make it better. I want to do something with our life. Now, I was a little jealous of some other people that I have seen on the server. Oh, and this right here is a servant. It's just going to basically collect things for you. It simulates killing cows, and then you can sell all the crops from them. So I decided to go visit a friend. I visited King Cairo. And, uh, you know, hopefully get a little bit of inspiration for my own base. I realized that I've got a lot of competition. Look at this thing, dude. It's absolutely massive. Man, I've got a long way to go with my island. He had piles and piles of value blocks. We, so, we, we look at the IS top here and you can see that he is number two, which is awesome. I want to get there someday. Now on day 21, I decided to use vote crate keys. It had been a full 24 hours and I could vote again. And look, I got 64 diamond blocks. Those are worth quite a bit, as you can see here. 60K. Look at our money, dude. We're coming up in the world. Everything is right. I am so happy. I hope to get some spawners here, but then I end up just getting more gold blocks. But hey, 128 gold blocks is nothing to snuff at. Look at that. 13K, dude. On day 22, the jealousy that had been clouding my thoughts had subsided after seeing King Kyra's island, and I made the decision, I'm gonna do something about my own island. So I take away the cactus farm, and then I start grinding. We need money, and lots and lots of money. 
So that's how I spent the rest of day 22, and on to a new day. We have King Cairo trying to, uh, trying to come on over to the island. Hey, where are you? What on earth? <laughs> what is going on? No, he's giving me money. So as you can see, day 23 started off swell. He tried to come back and cheer me up and, well, he came back in a giant chair. I upgraded my crop growth rate and look at this, guys. Makes trees grow quicker too and cactus and every other crop. So spending these sky coins wisely we are and look at all the wood we're getting. On day 24, I started by taking up my sheep spawners. It was time to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I was about to start my mega base. Day 24 marked the beginning of the demolition of our island, and I made a discovery in the auction house. So expensive, and they also hurt you. 2.5, mil, dude. Wait, those are only 27k each? Wait, 27k each, how much do they normally cost? 35k. Sheep spawners seem nice. Oh, we could buy, we could buy all of them, dude. Okay. We just bought 10. So I bought out the auction house and maybe made a couple more poor financial decisions and spent almost all of the money that we had. People are always like, Mio, are you using an auto clicker? Oh yeah. And someone challenged my honor here. Look how fast I can click. I'm going to literally point my microphone straight down. You guys ready? You hear how fast I can click? I can keep this up for like 30 minutes before I get fatigued. After defending my honor, I decided to finish what I had started that day, and we ended up with a pretty blank slate to work with. Now day 25 is one of my favorite days. I invited a few friends over because I needed to generate some serious cash before we make a mega base. I added a nice little hopper system below our miner and room for three people. You'll see why soon. Yay, they're here! I can come back here and we can literally just do like a time lapse surrounding us. It'll be pretty epic. Mr. Krabs, and I love it. Money, 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 money. Mr. All right, all right, enough fooling around. Look at all the money that we made. I think it's time we start the Mega Base. Day 27 was a planning day, picking a pallet. So I went AFK here after planting some trees because we were going to need a lot of spruce wood for this base. Or at least I thought. I don't really actually think we ended up using it. But as I sat here, my friends messed with me. And now, we mine the spruce trees. So this is literally like 40, 50 minutes of footage all cut down into 20 seconds. On day 30, it was finally time to upgrade the cobble gens with our new palette, just to make them look a little bit better and to fit a little bit better with what we're about to build. Because before, they were a tad bit ugly, but that's okay. They did the job. Now, the sad part. Destroying what had made us who we are today. But, bright things ahead. It's time to start the mega base. I start by building a giant circle. No, this isn't a regular circle, it's a warped log circle. And that's how I spent the rest of day 30, building a very, very large circle. But hey, I had fun doing it, and it turned out looking really, really good, and it gives us something very, very good to start with. Now on day 31, I decided to add a little bit of a smoked mirror effect to this base. So I decided to make it deep and cavernous, and then we added glass. Now at first here, we kind of messed up, and we didn't put the proper spacing between the... I didn't put the proper spacing between the glass. Cairo came back and informed me that there has to be a one block space in between, and as you can see, we look like ants on an ant farm going in here breaking glass, which is not a very quick thing. It's really, really slow. But right here, you can see we actually start to make it look smoky, 
Look at that, dude. Day 31 was a success. Now on day 32, I had come back the next real life day, and in between those days, I had gotten some crop hoppers. Now these are gonna allow us to make a cactus farm that is fully automated. These crop hoppers work by taking every single crop drop inside of a chunk and putting it into themselves. So we have two of them, meaning we could do a two chunk farm. Now right here you can see me using the rest of day 32 wisely. I decided to bring up the warped logs one block because they weren't really like in line with the rest of the build after we added that glass. And then I took some of this blackstone, blackstone bricks and such and tried to frame it. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted but I ended up smoothing it out in the future. And hey, who am I to complain? We're starting our mega base. Much better than that cobblestone piece of crap we had earlier. I stopped building to show off my burger pickaxe. It's a very interesting looking pickaxe, but then I get back to the job at hand and we finish off day 32 the right way. Oh yes, a new day, day 33. Time to buy some materials for our mega base. Now you have to understand here that it has to be built within some specific chunk boundaries. The cactus farm, that is. Because if I don't build it in those chunk boundaries, then there's no point in having those crop hoppers. You can see me here kind of showing off the two chunks, and that's how I decide to frame the cactus farm. So do you guys remember 15 minutes ago in the video when I said, I don't know what's coming for me. Well, we're at that point now. We're starting the cactus farm that I didn't think would come and sprout from such a little tiny one. It's honestly pretty epic how big this thing gets, and I don't think a lot of you are going to believe it, but you better believe it. Now for the replay. Okay, there we go. Now our cactus farm is, oh, if I can fly. Now our cactus farm is basically fully automated. I'm making sure I didn't miss anything here. I don't think I did. I'm looking through with like one eye. And there we go, guys. Finishing day 36 off with a bang. We had started and almost finished our very first giant farm. This is going to be an epic 200 day video whenever that comes out. So I decided to upgrade my hopper limits. I kind of had to because I was going to be using so many hoppers for this collection system. And uh, I also decided where I'm going to put the crop hoppers. So again, they have to be within the chunks that the cactus farm is in. So I decided on the chunk boundary between these two chunks right here. Oh yeah, and I also upgraded my, or no, I didn't. I didn't have enough sky coins. I was like, man, I need to upgrade this before I build it. But turns out I didn't even have enough. But yeah, then I built a mega hopper collection system. And that was it for day 37. Day 38, I decided to take a break and check out some of my viewers' islands. By the way, I can show off your island if you join my server. Ooh, this is really cool. Aw, oh, dude, this looks so good with the clouds. Oh, this is a beautiful. Oh, you, you got the Cairo style, I see, with the, uh, with the circles. I really like it. Hey, I'm even doing circles. It was a good idea. Yours is not bigger than- oh, oh, you have four five of them! <laughs> Oi! Oi! Oh, gosh! Oh, this is so big, dude! <laughs> oh, this is so big! Totally didn't get jealous here, no, not at all! Oh my gosh, I mean, it probably works so well. There's so much that I'm sure- I mean, look at all the cactus here, dude! I'm in heaven! I'm in cactus heaven! On day 39, I came back with some newly acquired skins, and my server has tons of custom skins. Like, absolutely tons. I found this little copper pickaxe, I thought it looked pretty snazzy. Wasn't my favorite, and I decided on a few other tools, but you can see my axe, sword, and pickaxe all have skins. 
But yeah, that's how I spent most of day 39. I was checking up on the cactus here and it didn't have a whole ton, but to be fair, I was off exploring viewer islands. Each stack's worth 1325, remember that. So I needed to acquire a little bit more money because sand is very expensive. Luckily, I did have enough cactus, I think, but I definitely didn't have enough sand. So I may have taken a few uh, a few viewer uh, donations, you know, they, they might have given me a little bit of money. So I decided I might as well build a better cobble gen, something that I knew how to build, and man, was it cool. Check this out. Another day had passed and I was still working on this massive cobblestone generator, which honestly, it generates a lot more than just cobblestone. Now look at it, dude. Diamonds, redstone, lapis, gold, and ooh, is it satisfying to mine. Go. Whee! <laughs> Basically mine like a giant farm. You can even hop up here, go ham on it a little bit, and you can hopper these into wherever you want. I don't have any ore hoppers, I don't think at least. Um, I don't really even remember how you get ore hoppers, but you can see this is quite a bit better than the other spawner. And dude, doesn't it just look so much better too? I think. I'd say day 43 was a success. Made a lot of money. 8,000 in fact. So we did have a little bit of sand. The only thing that's kind of holding us back, oh, <laughs> slash sand. The only thing holding us back here is the sand and it costs 50K a stack. So as you can see, I was struggling with sand until some viewers gave me some money and funded the first part of our mega cactus farm. Enjoy. There we go, guys. Cactus Farm 1.0 is powered up. Powered up is definitely the right word. On day 48, I was feeling really, really good, and I decided to make this cactus farm look good as well. So I framed it with some of these warped logs, and well, you'll see the rest. Now I figure on day 49, after building that giant cobblestone generator, that I might as well take care of the old one. It's something everybody has to do at some point. Give up something you love. And gave it up I did. Day 50, people told me in the chat that I can upgrade my weapons to netherite and upgrade them I did. It's actually super cheap and it's extremely beneficial, so if you're playing on the server, definitely make all of your diamond gear into netherite. On day 51, I decided I need a little bit more money, right? Because we're making a cactus farm, but everyone has encouraged me to make it even bigger. No, I thought we were done here, but done we were not. Did you think we were done? Because you're sorely, sorely mistaken. So after mining this, you can see we got about uh, 20k, so not too bad. Now I know a lot of you are looking at those numbers right now and you're like, 47 days? Oh, you just wait. This is by far the longest time lapse I have ever made, and we have successfully completed the biggest cactus farm on the server. For now.
And guys, well, that's my story. How I became the Cactus Emperor of Neo Network. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took me over 30 hours to edit, so if you'd like to leave a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update now that you watched 100 days on my Skyblock server. So as you saw in that time lapse, we get a lot of cactus from this giant cactus. And it also looks a little bit different. So I did a few things that I didn't show on camera just because I wasn't streaming them. Um, I've tried to make it look like an actual cactus, ended up changing this to green concrete. And I think it looks really, really good. Let's go down here to the hopper collection system. <laughs> and let's see how much cactus you get overnight. So we have double chest, double chest, double chest, double chest. Each one of these double chests is worth, I think, like, I don't know, around 100k. And they go up very, very high. So, it'll just keep going up full of cactus. So it makes about $2 million per night. That's why I have 5.92 million. And then you notice that I put a stone like block. I tried to see, this is a cactus, right? This is a stone block. So I put some gray concrete and some gray glass and then just made it look nice and pretty. And I think it's pretty cool, right? It looks like a giant stone block filled with stuff you can mine made of stone. But thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. If you finished the entire thing, I really, really appreciate you. If you didn't, that's also okay. I appreciate you just as much. I also put some chests down here just so we have a little bit of storage to work with in the future. And I'm going to remove those very soon. I promise I still haven't gotten to those. But yeah, I hope to see you guys on the server. Again, the IP is in the description and then in the top pinned comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah. I'll see you later.